Hello everyone, welcome back to um, Resident Evil 4, and if you can hear the grunting and whatnot, that so totally doesn't sound wrong at all. Uh, you can tell we're going to be rescuing Ashley in this episode, because in the last episode, we finally got here, Lewis ended up getting stabbed by Sadler's Plagus Wayne, and um, yep, <laughs> that's a thing that happened. It like just retracted underneath his robe. All right, but before we re we rescue her, we're gonna do what normal people do and just kind of loot the place. Let's forget saving the president's daughter. We're just gonna take things. Can we go out here? It won't budge. It's gotta be locked from the other side. And we need all the sniper ammo that we can get right now. Oh, I just realized her bar's on the. Shut up. I'll be with you in a moment. Has she been there the whole entire time? We've been doing all sorts of random things. And they can't couldn't even find where she was at. Can we go over here? You can't leave Ashley behind. Ugh. God damn, why is this gotta be my mission? Ugh. I don't wanna save her. She's annoying. What do you expect me to do? Also, come on. You can get your legs out of there. You're really skinny. I saved you by gunfire. Wouldn't be near death unless I shot you in the head. Actually, that would be total death. Never mind. Alright, so there's a few guys over here. And I love sniper segments. One of my favorite things. Just fall over. Thank you. They're not. I don't think they're gonna pop, pop out with the uh, plagus stuff. Nah. Let's just reload real quick, and we're gonna hope that we can get her out pretty easily. Well, that guy's got a pretty big key on him. Maybe that's the key to the door. Where you go? Did you just really run back to the same spot where you almost got captured? Ow! Oh. What the? What are you guys doing? Crying out loud. It's not that bad. He's dead. All that leaves is just a few more dudes. If I can aim right. I like to let them move into my crosshairs more so than uh, me controlling it, because. These controls are not the best. There we go. I, got the key. I, can get out. I wasted a ton of uh, sniper ammo on this. All right, cool. So, now we're playing Ashley. Now we are playing a character who is very useless uh, for no other reason besides the fact that we can. And she doesn't have anything that she can really do besides her own inventory that we can use and we can loot things with. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to loot a bunch of things with her. Let me save real quick. So I don't have to go back through sniping. Alright, and we're doing a bunch of stealth stuff. Kind of. Not quite. He's gonna just try to grab her and strangle her and, you know, creepy things. And what we're gonna do, what we have the potential to do, is we're just gonna throw this at him and horribly fail. Because, you know, 
We're good at this game. But I could do this. And he can't grab me here. Oh, I could co go out through there, but do I want to? I probably do, actually. Let's just look around real quick. Because we can, we can do that. We can lift it up through the crane, or we could just go across through that crawl space. It doesn't look like there's anything I can grab. I think all the stuff that you can grab is a little bit later. All right, one. And then the second one will kill him. As soon as he gets up. Because I do want him out of the way. Oh, well, we could do that too. That works. I don't think it could do anything there. All right, where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, hi. <laughs> He's just spinning in circles. Too bad she doesn't have a knife on her. That would be helpful. Oh. No. Takes like three of them to kill them. Oh, tap in the X button. Oh, there's two of them. Goody. Ugh. Oop. I mean, I guess it's a good mechanism to keep people out. You got uh, the vertical bars and then the side bars, so you can't have anything skinny squeezed through. All right, now since we take care of that, let's just watch this guy try to be smart. Yep. He ain't smart. All right. Red herb. And I think this door is locked. This is our next goal. Or not. There's a puzzle though. But. Red Hawk. Alright. But I think um, we need something in the center. Yeah, there's a round hole in the center. But we can grab all this stuff. Butler's memo. Knowing that St. Ramon Sadler had no family, Lord Sadler must have used his strong faith in the lost Illuminatus to his advantage to talk to Senior Salazar and to undoing the seal of the Las Plagas, once done by his ancestor. Senior Salazar would never do such a thing unless he was some way being used unknowingly. I should have sensed that Lord's dirty, the Lord's dirty scheme sooner. I feel I'm partly responsible for all this. I have no idea what to do. What? Eh. I have no idea what the Lord is planning, but Senior Salazar is just being used. It's too late, however. Senior Salazar has already taken the Plagas into his body. There's no turning back once the Plaga has turned into an adult in the body. The Plaga Parasite will not die unless the host dies. There's no cure. Perhaps Senior Salazar may have been vaguely aware of the Lord's plan all along, but it's hard to tell. Nevertheless, there's nothing I can do about it now. I've ser served the Salazar family for generations. I am prepared to continue my services until the very end. Ah, oh, poor butler. <sighs> Velvet blue, and now we can move on and we can try to get that thing to my thing. Because we're about to have a lot of fun. I like how in the darker uh, areas in the game, uh, they have this green effect added on to the back of the uh, camera. So uh, you just kind of see a bunch of noise just kind of lift and it's really cool I like it a lot green herb oh cool we can make a whole thing now oh we could have done that a little bit earlier but it's fine this is all for Leon anyway she is not getting uh, her health increase because I don't care I mean she'll end up getting it eventually but not anytime soon we'll be after Leon fully Ups. Stone tablet. That's one thing that we need. But there's gonna be another thing that we need. Soonish. There we go. And now we've opened everything. Well, at least all the things that we need to open. There wasn't any other treasure in here, was there? Nope, guess not. 
Yay. Well, that's a little bit of treasure. Wish I could get a bunch of gold coins in a chest like that. That would be really nice. Can that happen to me in real life? All right, so the horror atmosphere is really beginning to kick in a little bit more again. And, uh... You're about to see some things. All right, so we can do that, and... All right. I don't think there's any treasure, is there? No. They didn't put anything on that table. That's weird. All right, so we're gonna put the... We're gonna try to arrange these the best we can, which is pretty easy. And this looks really grainy, actually. There we go. That's the puzzle. And there's a piss, piss. And there's a piece too missing. Still missing. Oh my god. One day I am gonna learn how to speak in front of a microphone, and it's actually going to be words. It's not gonna be like a bunch of random sounds or Freudian slips. All right, so we could go in. We could go ahead and get what's in that chest there, because I'm assuming that no, it's not what's in the chest that I need. That's just treasure, which is helpful for us. But that's the thing that's going to advance. But we don't want to do that just yet, because you know what happens when you grab a key item. Things come after you, and I don't want things to come after me. And there's a treasure chest here. Oh, it's the second piece of that ornament that we're trying to get. All right, lo and behold, we have all these knight armors. Hopefully they just, yep, that's what I was hoping for, that they'd come in one spot. Now we don't have to worry about them because they decide to go in one direction. And since we know that they're trouble and we just have to avoid them all the time, as we get gratuitous uh, panty shots all over the place, because that's what this game is about, apparently. All right, and there should be at least one more that we need to worry about. Oh, I thought I was gonna miss that one because it felt like I hit it a little too late. I like how they fall apart after you um get them too. It's kind of funny. All right, cool. So now we can go in here, and now we can open this guy up throw that little dude in there and turn the motherfucker fantastic we are cruising we are very much cruising in this game now oh, a little bit of money never hurts And what do we else we got here? Anything else? Ammo? Anything? 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 Really, the only ammo she picked up was handgun ammo. What a waste. Could have gave me some sniper stuff, because sniper ammo is very helpful. Unlocked. Leon. Yay! It's a happy reunion. You did good. Hug. You did good, kid. Sorry, you did good. End of chapter. I like how I said don't worry about it, even though she caused all sorts of shit to happen. I, though, to be fair, if she didn't do that, she wouldn't have not have gotten that piece, which would have helped us progress. So it was a good thing that she got captured. So congrats on getting captured. But that's where we're ending the episode off. So on the next episode, we're going to see what lies next for our wonderful, wonderful adventure now that they're reunited again. So until then, this is Ria Kuroku. Like my video. Uh, comment below what you like and hit that subscribe button and they'll Help me out immensely. So until then as always Thumbs up and I'll catch you guys Absolutely later. Yay Reunited and it feels so good